What's cracking YouTube family? It's your big homie Wayne. I'm Chrissy. But hit y'all off with another one of these reaction videos. Okay, this one right here is coming up from one of our new faves, man, Al Bundy. The name of this one is Best of Bundy. How was your day? Let's get into it. Can I get a wool bun? Bundy! A fat woman clip clopped into the shoe store today. <laughs> and said, I need something I'd be comfortable in. I said, try Wyoming. <laughs> now, I don't know when they started letting women carry chainsaws. You know that new aerobics center up above me? The one with the sign, quarter ton discount? <laughs> well, today they played Van Halen's Jump. <laughs> and damned if the whole herd didn't. <laughs> It was off the The ceiling opened up, down they came, blocking out the sun. I experienced cellulite winter. God, the humongity. A fat woman, Godzilla's into the shoe store today. This was something she could wear to walk in the woods. Jokingly, I suggest she wear a sign that says, don't shoot from the front, I look human. Uh, Middle-aged woman comes into the shoe store. She's wearing a blossom hat. You know, the I'm just a cute young girl of 45 look. <laughs> and she's looking for something cool to wear to a Crosby, Stills, and Nash reunion concert. Look at his face. So I suggest a nice recyclable paper bag to put over her face. <laughs> you know, so she can save the planet two ways. <laughs> so she maces me. <laughs> but as I lash out blindly, I think I clipped her a good one in the teeth. <laughs> So from now on, it looks like she'll be gumming the words to teach your children. <laughs> How was your day, pumpkin? A customer comes in the store today. Tall, willowy brunette. Sits down. Says she'd like to try on a pair of size 12 pumps. So I'm down there, you know, just doing my job. And <laughs> Notice she's wearing a garter belt like I like. <laughs> and a nice pair of silk stockings. Yeah. All the time she's smiling at me, all of a sudden, she uncrosses her legs like in Basic Instinct. You saw it all? Yes. <laughs> it was a guy! Okay, I it was horrible. Say that, but I won't be sure. 16 straight hours that. of shoe selling mayhem. <laughs> Last thing I remember, I was down on one knee, you waiting on an knows. overflowing glacier of a woman. <laughs> First thing you te they teach you when you're a rookie shoe salesman is when you get a fat one in the chair, never look up. <laughs> I looked up, Peg. I saw underwear. <laughs> it said Saturday. <laughs> comes into the diner and he asks for the Norwegian salmon. Then he wants to know if it's fresh. I said, hey, chucklehead, this is Chicago. This is not Norwegia, okay? <laughs> nothing is fresh. Well, I shouldn't say nothing. I hate Christmas. <laughs> Mall is full of nothing but women and children. All you hear is, I want this, get me this, I have to have this. And there's the children. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all by my store, because they stuck the mall Santa right outside, ringing a stupid bell. <laughs> As if you need a bell to notice a 300-pound alcoholic in a red suit. <laughs> <laughs> ho, 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 all day long. So nice as can be, I go outside, ask him to shut the hell up. <laughs> he takes a swing at me. So I lay a hook into his fat belly, and he goes down. <laughs> Beard comes off, all the kids start crying, and I'm the bad guy. Wow. This woman comes in, and she is so fat, she actually has three smaller women orbiting around her. <laughs> so I'm trying to force a pair of size 13 shoes on her Jurassic feet <laughs> when she says to me that her husband just left her. Ah, the plot thins. <laughs> 
this skinny woman with a hooked nose all the foils into the shoe store and says, I want something to make me look sexy. So I say, you'll have to wait a long time before someone that ugly comes in to stand next to you. <laughs> Excuse me, boy. Now, I don't know when they started letting women carry nunchucks. A fat woman hedgehogged her way into the shoe store today. I got to tell you about my day. I had to give a driving test to a woman who was so fat, they had to shoot her driver's license photo with the Hubble telescope. <laughs> Son, listen to me. I don't have time for one of your shaggy fat woman stories. <laughs> oh, how I hate Halloween. <laughs> Ask me how much I hate Halloween. <laughs> More than that. <laughs> well, they make all us employees put on these costumes like some woman's gonna say, gee, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna buy any shoes today. <laughs> but since I see you in a dinosaur costume, I will. <laughs> And of course, the ride home from work wouldn't have been so bad if the kids had actually got gas instead of painting the needle on the gauge full. <laughs> but then again, I don't mind pushing the Dodge through gang turf because I'm a mighty stegosaurus. <laughs> By the way, did I mention how much I hate Halloween? Go away. <laughs> ah, home sweet help. <laughs> So then, this woman comes in, who doesn't speak English. She points at the shoes, I point at the door. She points at the sky, and knees me in the nay -nays. That woman comes to the gate today. Uh -oh. Her moo moo covering what must have been three or four heinies. <laughs> now she could exit through a little itsy bitsy turnstile, or a huge gate. Guess which one she chooses. Oh, a line was forming. So I had to do something. So I got a tub of butter from the Delta Burke Let's Get Big exhibit. Delta Burke. And oiled her up. Oh, my then goodness. I went over to Star Trek land, hotwired the Enterprise, and sent it up where no man has gone. Before. <laughs> She goes flying like a vegetable out of dad's mouth. <laughs> right into the Facts of Life fan club pavilion. <laughs> Thank God it's always empty. A woman comes in the shoe store today, so huge she's protected by Greenpeace, <laughs> and asks for a size four shoe. <laughs> no, no, no. I ask her if she wants to eat them there or take them home. <laughs> and she has the nerve to complain about my performance. A fat woman sloshed into the shoe store today. <laughs> said she was retaining water. I said not to worry about it. The dam of cellulite holding it back should keep us all high and dry for the next few years. Now, I don't know when they started letting women carry stun guns. Why am I early on what used to be my bowling night? Good question. Thank you for asking. Well, as I entered the bowling alley, ready for an exciting night of bonding brewskis and barfing, what did I see? Women, bowling, overhead. <laughs> So naturally, I went up to one of these donut depositories and said in my nicest voice, wedge it out the door, beefalo, it's my night to bowl. <laughs> well, instead of coming back at me verbally like I did to them, they took their doughy fist and they pounded on me until a mutual agreement was reached that I leave. <laughs> anyway, when I regained consciousness in a burning trash can, I realized, A, Thursday nights is now ladies' night, and B, you don't want to know how a bum puts out a trash can fire. <laughs> A fat woman creatured her way into the shoe store oh today. Guess what happened today at the shoe store? Did a fat woman come in? Enormous. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. Al Bundy. Al Bundy is... <laughs> Al Bundy is... What is Al Bundy? What can you say? What can uh, you say hot, about The him? hot mess. What he said... I feel like click, what did you say? Click, click, clock, 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 clock. In the store, clip, that clock. was so, I swear, he say it's for, it's for the fat women. He all got a, he all got a good, a good description of how they came to the store. Yes. A fat woman sloshed into the store today. <laughs> eh? 
So a fat woman galloped into the store oh today. Oh my goodness. Oh man. He is so funny. It is so special how the children have picked up his same sense of humor. When, when they get their crappy jobs. Because obviously Kelly <laughs> and Bud both had very crappy jobs. They didn't want to do their jobs. Nope. And they always had very, very poor experiences they came home and told their dad about. <laughs> like, damn, dad, now I know what you mean when you say this fat lady walked in today because look, somebody came in and I had to put the butter on her on a turnstile. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> they, that's classic comedy right there. I love that. It's so funny. Early 90s. Yep. Early 90s. Well, the best thing on TV. Had to be. Like they said, it was like the, the longest running right. sitcom on Fox from 87 to 97. He pretty much said whatever he wanted to say. Without, without cuss words. He had some cuss words in there. It was cuss? Oh, okay. Light, though. It was light. It was oh, okay. very, very light. But it got home. It hit home. <laughs> the stuff he said was worse than cuss words. You <laughs> yes, it was. Man. What do you guys think? Jump down in the comments and let us know how you feel about this one right here. The best of Al Bundy. How was your day? And if you haven't done so, make sure you guys give the video a huge thumbs up. There's lots for exposure for the channel. More people see the video just like you did. So let's give it a huge thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already and you're still sticking around, don't be shy. Go ahead and hit subscribe. Become a member of the family. Make sure you ring the notification bell so you can always know we post stuff over here. You know those sort of people? Peace. Out of there. Y'all take it easy.